So the funniest thing happened yesterday. And the funniest thing is it's got nothing to do with my business, but everything to do with a basic human need. And I think overall, it's about what's right and wrong and how people feel about that. Now, all I tried to do was share one three minute video about how me and my family had drilled a bore on our land and were able to access free water for ourselves for life. And for whatever reason, the TikTok algorithm clearly has been programmed to stop or prevent videos like this from being shared on the platform. For whatever reason, right? You can go as deep as you want down all the rabbit holes, but my video about just sharing how I was able to access free water for my family for life was stopped from being shared on the platform. And I just find it really funny that, you know, I've been knocking myself out here trying to create organic content to help people with their businesses for the last few months on my page and one post about me digging a hole in the ground and getting some water out <laughs> is the one that starts to go viral. But I think when I, when I look at what's happening, my interpretation of it is that the reason it's being shared so much and people are commenting and so interested in why I can't talk about the fact that I have free water is because I think it goes against a core human belief and value is that number one, it's free speech. We should be able to talk about you know, water and feeding our family uh, when we want to anywhere and shouldn't be censored when we try to do it. And number two, I think there's just that feeling that um, underlying everything is, you know, it just kind of reminds us how controlled I think we actually are at a very basic level. Like, you know, I'm just simply talking about providing water for my family to drink and wash. And for some reason, that's not okay. I'm gonna finish this video by just sharing something very personal about me and my family. So two years ago, we took a huge decision to sell our kind of, you know, big flashy house by the beach up in, uh, in Perth, West Australia, and we just bought 54 acres, and it was an old um, tree plantation. We had no idea what we were gonna do, we just knew that we wanted to change our life. A lot of things went right, some things went wrong, but ultimately, what has been the most beautiful experience for my family, uh, my wife and my four kids, is that the whole time we have felt that the spirit of the land has held us and looked after us the whole way. And we were told this early on, we invited uh, an indigenous um, Aboriginal elder to come and have a conversation um, about our land and our plans for our off-grid eco retreat here. And we were told that obviously the land is alive and does have a spirit and is aware that you are on it. And if the spirit of the land connects with you, it will look after you. It will support you in everything that you want to do in your life there. And I've got to say, you know, as spiritual as it sounds or um, however you want to interpret it, my wife and I and my family feel that uh, from this beautiful um, land that is allowing us to have this amazing off-grid um, experience of living. You know, you'll see from my page that I talk a lot about how I sold a business in the UK and I became a multimillionaire and, you know, we experienced that life for years. You know, it's been 10 years since that happened. You know, I went out and did the typical things you should do or you think you should do. I went and bought fast cars and shiny watches and, you know, a big house with a big pool by the beach, you know, the biggest one we can afford. We did what society kind of, you know, had brainwashed us to believe that we were supposed to do when you get money. And honestly, after a while, we realized that all we'd done is just built a bigger, more expensive, luxurious cage that um, kept us needing to generate lots of money to maintain our big, luxurious, comfortable cage. But it was still a cage. Now, after about 10 years of living that lifestyle, my wife and I really changed. You know, we both went through, I guess, what you'd call spiritual awakenings, uh, each at different times over that 10 years. And we came to the same place at the end of that 10 year period where we realized actually what's more important to us is our inner happiness, our inner well being, um, and the way that we live, and the life that we want to give to our children. So we pretty much sold everything, all of the posh stuff, bought a big 54 acre plot of rural land and over the last two years have been creating 
our dream off-grid eco life, which is simple um, compared to the life that we used to live. But guess what? Everyone internally is happier because of the decision that we made. And the beautiful land that we live on is holding us as we experience all of the new amazing gifts that it brings, like free water um, all the time. So look, that's it. I just want to say thank you to every single person that has commented, engaged with that video. I appreciate you. Um, obviously, uh, you know, we all, I guess, feel the same at some human level about what is right and wrong and what, is, what we feel is important um, uh, you know, regarding truth and love and the earth you know, and uh, freedom. So I um, just want to say I see you and thank you for seeing me. All right, take care. Have a cool day.